New at 10 football fans are looking for accountability after a major ticketing fumble at the Super Bowl. Good evening. It is a priceless experience, of course, watching your team play in and then win the Super Bowl. But tonight, fans are crying foul after their ticket troubles. Our Maria Guerrero is following up with ticket holders who were left out in the cold in Dallas, Maria. That's right, guys. Fans we spoke with at the game say it's the experience they were looking forward to and did not get. Now many are taking action, and a local man is thanking his his lucky ticket. I would like a quick resolution to the whole issue off the email I sent. I don't want to be waiting around for years or pushed off. From Green Bay and across the nation, fans are pushing back. We stood in line for three hours because they couldn't move anybody through a freaking line. Then our tickets don't scan because they screwed up. Roughly 1,000 people are filing a class action lawsuit trying to recover what they say the NFL and Cowboys owner Jerry Jones took away. I guess it was, I was just surprised how poorly it was handled by the NFL. It was supposed to be a lifelong dream realized for Bruce Miller of Wanakee. We've had season tickets my family for about 30 years and this is the first time we've ever been picked so to be picked was lucky and then to have them go was even luckier the packer backer would need all the luck and patience after stadium personnel told his section they weren't getting in if we weren't aggressive enough you know we could all just kind of took the letter and went home i guess you know but we were all we basically forced our way in. Once inside, Miller found out just how close he and son Hudson were to not having a seat at all. Sat down, and there was two seats next to me, and next to that there was the yellow, like the police tape or whatever they have at a crime scene, up all the way down the section, and the rest of the section was blocked off. Thankful to have seen the entire game, Miller is now keeping an eye on this lawsuit, hoping for a fair call. I'm not out to get anything, I guess, out of it. I mean, I got in the game, I guess. I mean, the people that didn't get to watch the game certainly should be compensated. Lucky ticket indeed. The lawsuit is asking for fans to be reimbursed for whatever they paid for their tickets, plus related expenses of them trying to just attend the Super Bowl, guys. So what about Miller? He says he's not going to do anything. What's next for him? He might not. He, he's going to be keeping an eye on this lawsuit, but he says that he was asked to send in his two $800 tickets for a full refund. But you think about this. The problem, he says, is that you know these are souvenirs that he wants to keep for the rest of his life. He doesn't want to send them in, basically, so he's probably going to just photocopy them and see if he can hopefully get his money back. Understandable. Mm. That's a ticket stub for the agents. There you go. Exactly. Right, Maria, thank you very much. Okay. And now that